Hey, welcome back to the channel. All right, so today we are obviously doing something a little bit different. We're looking at a Mac in Immersed VR again. Now, I did a video on this a few weeks ago, but the thing that's different now is we are looking at a 2012 MacBook Pro. So this thing was it by no means designed for VR. It's the mid-2012. It's got a 2.5 gigahertz dual-core processor. 16 gigs of RAM, I upgraded that RAM, and it's just got the Intel HD Graphics 4000. So this thing was not by any means meant for VR, but here we are. We're using the computer in VR. We have a pass-through down here so I can see the keyboard and I can put my hands on the right keys and everything. And we get by the limitation of the low resolution on the MacBook Pro and we're running the screen at 1080p. Now, we're not limited to that. If we go into the menu, just raise my hand here, go into the menu, we can go into our monitor controls. And you can see right now we're set at 1920 by 1080, but we can set any of these other resolutions. We can go up to 2560 by 1440, and then we can easily just take the screen and make it bigger. If we want to make a bigger screen and move it a little further away or move it up and move it down, we can manipulate this however we want for our setup. Now we're in VR and we have this screen in front of us that works great, but even though we just have a MacBook Pro with one screen, because we're in VR, we can add more screens. So say we want another screen, we just hit add screen, wait a few seconds, it pops up for us. And then uh, we can grab the bar, snap it into place if we want, or we can just move it, you know, wherever we want to put it. Again, <laughs> we're in VR, so uh, physics don't really apply here. So now we have two screens. And, you know, if I just bring up something like notes, we can just drag this between those two screens. We have two usable screens, just like if we had two physical screens on our laptop. And two screens are great, but, you know, maybe we need a little more screen real estate. So... Let's go ahead and add another screen here. Give it a few seconds. There it is, it pops up. We can snap this one into place as well. And there, now we have three screens, so we can just drag this between those and over here, however, however we wanna use it, just like if it was a real screen. Now, if you upgrade, you can add additional screens. With the free version, you can have these three screens, but you can add two more, so you can have a total of five screens when you only have one screen hooked up. If I turn on the pass through for a second here, uh, my office is messy, but you can see I just have my MacBook Pro. It's the 13 inch 2012. I don't have any other displays set up, but now I have three displays on it. Now, this is a 2012 MacBook Pro, so it's limited by Wi-Fi. It's only got 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, 802.11n. It's limited by that processor and the GPU. So when you have multiple displays like this, it does sometimes slow down a little bit. And if it does, that's no big deal. You can either drop the resolution down to save a little bandwidth, or you can just go and close whatever windows you're not using and then open them later if you need them. Now this pass-through, there's two ways to do keyboards. You can do a tracked one. So the Ocula, I'm on the Oculus Quest and the Oculus Quest is able to track certain keyboards like certain Apple keyboards and certain Microsoft keyboards and Logitech. And it is able to track MacBook Pro keyboards but only for later models. It doesn't have the 2012 in there. So the way to get around that is you can do this keyboard portal for any keyboard that you have. And I'll just show you that real quick. We go into the menu and we go to keyboards. I'm gonna use the controller for this because it's just easier. If we just toggle from tracked, uh, we don't have one of these keyboards, so I'm gonna hit done and do the pass through. All we have to do is just take our controller, click, drag to the other end of the keyboard, let go, hit the confirm button here. And now we have the pass through or the keyboard. But we're not only limited, we're not limited to just the keyboard pass through, we can set up these other portals around the room. So I have one, I have a, my door for the office is over here. So if I, if somebody comes into the office and I wanna see who it is, I can just hit the number three portal here, if I can tap it. <laughs> and now I can see my door. If somebody comes in there, I can interact with them. And then I can turn the portal off again when I'm done with that. If I want, 
to pick up my water bottle that I usually have over here. I can turn on this portal and I can see the water bottle. I can reach out, grab it. I don't have to worry about knocking it over or anything like that. So those portals are really great. And um, I just, one more thing I wanted to show you, this is not a tutorial on Immersed. If you want to see a tutorial on Immersed, like full capabilities, let me know. I'm happy to put that together. You can use this with Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. It's fantastic software. But um, two other really great features are there's public rooms. So you're going to go out to a public room where other people are working and interact with them while you're working. And it just gives you that, that sense of presence, like there's other people around. This is great for people that work from home you know, all the time or most of the time. You still get a little bit of that, that sense of presence and interaction. And you can also, with your room, you can go to different areas. So if I want, I, I showed you this before, I can just go to mixed reality mode and I have these displays in my monitor, uh, you know, in my office. Now I just have the Quest 2, so it's black and white, but if you have the, the Quest Pro or the Quest 3 that's gonna be coming out with color pass-through, it's even a better experience. I do have the, um, the Pico 4 over there that has color pass-through and Immersed is gonna be released on that headset, but it's not quite here yet. I'm looking forward to that, but that's another video for another day. But let's just say we want to um, go to something like the Space Lounge. Say we wanna go out and do a, another, a little uh, sci-fi environment. All right, you know what? I'm, one thing I wanna talk about here is you can control everything. You don't need the controllers. You can control everything with your hands. And when they're red like this, you get this arrow and uh, you can you know, grab things and, and move the displays around, which is awesome. But when you're interacting with the buttons, it's problematic sometimes. But to turn that off, all you do is you touch these two fingers together. You can see it turned color there. And now it's just hands and it's much easier to interact with these buttons. They're much easier to press that way. So we're gonna go into the space lounge and here we are. We got the world in front of us. We got the moon up here, so if we go and uh, let me just switch seats. Just gonna switch seats over to here. So we just switch seats, and now I'm just gonna hide the screens. We can see the moon there. We can see the Earth over here. So this is a just another environment. I'll show you one more, just real quick here. Um, let's just go to this cafe. So now we're in this cafe and this is also one of the public rooms. So you can come into this in a private room or you can come into it in a public room. If it was a public room, you would probably see other people sitting around on these different chairs. Uh, it's, it's actually very, very cool. Now, again, this isn't only on this MacBook Pro, but I just want to show you that these older MacBook Pros, you guys know how much I love them and they're still capable of, you know, fully supporting something like this. And this is, I mean, working in VR with Immersed is a legitimate workflow, and it actually kind of keeps you from getting distracted with the things around you. And one thing I did want to point out is that to use this, you need Catalina. Now, the 2012 MacBook Pro is officially supported on Catalina, so you don't have to do any hackery or anything. If they change that and only support later versions of the OS, you could always install, or install OpenCore Legacy Patcher and do it that way. But... Um, Otherwise, you know, it's free software. If you have a Quest and you have a, you know, one of these MacBooks, it's a great way to utilize this machine. If you're interested in more VR content, let me know down below. I'm considering starting a, a VR specific channel, so I'd really love that feedback. If you have any questions on anything or you want me to do a full tutorial on Immersed, let me know. I'm happy to do that as well. Thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video.